Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's exciting session, Fundamentals of Payment Orchestration, explained by an Olympic athlete. Before we can jump into explaining payment orchestration, let's understand what are the key ingredients that are actually needed for merchant growth. Typically, the main goal of each merchant is to ensure revenue growth, and there are several ways to achieve this. First, they need to optimize their current market presence by entering new markets and regions. Two, by growing their customer base and ensuring customer loyalty. And last but not least, they need to introduce innovation, increase efficiency, and optimize flawed processes. So to do this, merchants need to have a well-developed payment infrastructure in place. And as they grow and expand into new markets, they need to offer localized payment options to their customers that comply with rules and regulations and offer secure and efficient payment acceptance flows. For this, international merchants integrate with a host of region-specific payment service providers. These integrations require a high level of maintenance and often limit merchants in their choice of payment methods. So how do you handle the complex payment systems more efficiently? Well, the answer lies in payment orchestration. And I know what you're asking yourself. What the hell is payment orchestration? And what does it look like? Well, let's take a quick look how, how it looks like. A merchant can integrate to a single orchestration layer that will connect to a variety of payment providers. But that's not enough. We need to dig deeper and understand how this works. And to help us today to understand payment orchestration are the following panelists. First, we have Tosin Oki, Director of Sales for, of Europe for Payoneer, who is also an accomplished Olympic athlete. He's not only an Olympic finalist, he has also made six world championship appearances, as well as Commonwealth champion, and he's a three-time African champion. Joining him, Jean-Patrick Minka, Senior Sales Manager and Payment Orchestration Hero, and Victoria Goliva, Head of Inside Sales and Operations and Payment Orchestration Ninja. Hey, thanks for that, Amit. Uh, so yes, my name's Tosin. I'm the Director of Sales Europe for Payoneer and also a two-time Olympian. But we're not here to talk about my exploits in the track. We're here to talk about payment orchestration. So here's how it works. To understand this complex term, we should actually look at it as an 800-meter race. Similar to a race, I'm going to take you from the starting point to the finish line. And it's not going to take too much time. It will probably only take you around one minute, 41 seconds. The length of time it took David Rudisha to do the world record. Just kidding, actually, it will take a little bit longer, but definitely not as long as a two hour marathon. After it, I promise you that you'll definitely think that payment orchestration is quite simple. Now, for those of you who are not aware, what is an 800 meter race? I'll show you. The athletes start on their marks and they're all in their own lane. Like in this situation here, this is the Olympic final in London 2012. The crowd was buzzing, 70,000 people, and all watching these athletes really, really push and break after the first 100 meters. At this point, everyone looks quite similar, but we all know not everyone is the same. Some people have prepared really, really well and others haven't. 200 meters into the race, so a few athletes have gone to the front but we all know like most things, things are not always as they seem. The, at 300 meters, the field is stretched out just a little bit, but people are still looking at each other and people are still biding their time to get to the front. We've almost got to the halfway stage. Halfway stage usually happens at around 49 seconds, but you can see a few people at, at the front. They look like they might be quite strong, but we're only at the halfway stage. We're going towards 500 meters now, and there's a few athletes who are really looking like they might be in contention for the gold medal. There's only three medals to, be to take, the gold, the silver, and the bronze, and everyone's fighting for that major gold medal. Everyone wants to be an Olympic gold medalist. However, at this point, the world record holder, David Rudisha, is right at the front, and he looks like he's a strong cert for it, but still you don't know at this point. We've got 200 meters to go, and athletes really start to align and align themselves up for the finish. Like I said, there's three medals to get. And everyone wants the gold medal, but they can pretty much see the gold medal is gone at this point. 
there's still two medals to get and you can see three athletes in contention the silver medal at this point looks like a like certified the guy from Botswana and in third place it looks like a Kenyan athlete at this point the race is won and the athletes are happy in gold silver and bronze like anything though the 800 meter race has its intricacies and it's very much like a payment orchestration solution. FYI, we're not going to dive into every detail and give you a go-to plan on how to win the orchestration sprint, but we'll definitely provide you with a great deal of understanding of how it works. So are you ready? Let's go. Now I'm giving the stage to JP, who is a merchant services orchestration hero. Thank you for the hands up, Tosin. Now let me explain to you the concept of payment orchestration in the context of the four different stages of an 800 meter race and why it is a game changer in beating your competition. Now the first stage, which we call breaking the stagger. And as we have seen in the video, every one of the athletes start in their own lane of the 800 meter race. But after hundred meter, athletes start to break and converge into the inside lanes. Now, if you put this into the context of the business world, then we can say that all companies pretty much seem the same when they start out. They start as a small business and they have fewer payment challenges, which are also easier to address. But only after they break and the real race begins, and also as the companies start to grow, only then we can see who of the businesses or the athletes show the ability to win the race. Now, but bear in mind that the payment needs and complexity are accumulating as your business grows and evolves too. Coming to the second stage, the jostling and the bumping. Now, at key points throughout the race, we saw that the athletes will jostle for position to put themselves at the front. Putting that into the context of business businesses, the companies start to grow, and in that phase, they must compete against each other and win demanding customers and meet their payment needs. In order to do so, they need to connect to their customers' favorite payment methods, no matter where those customers are. This means integrating to multiple region-specific PSPs, and this can be very complicated, time-consuming, cost them a lot of resources, and quite frankly, keeps them from winning the race. Now, talking about the third stage, the alignment phase, and possibly the most crucial one. Just before the final 100 meters, athletes will align themselves for the final sprint. They want the clearest path to the finish, and they want to avoid being boxed in or having to run around multiple people. Now, if you put this again in the context of businesses, to be in front at this stage and not to be left behind, to make it to the finish line as the first one, you have to unify your multiple payment connections into one layer which will not only help you to scale easier by connecting to different pay payment providers in any region and at any time, but it also allows you to streamline your entire payment processes from one place. And this is what we ultimately call payment orchestration. And then of course, we have the finish line. But wait a minute, JP. We cannot compare the race itself to payment orchestration leaving out the athletes themselves. Simply winning the race is not enough, right? As an athlete, you need a certain skill set and a mindset that not only will work together, but will take you ahead of the others. In the context of 800 meters race, only the best are still in contention during the final 100 meters. The last athletes standing have survived this far because of their tactical ability and speed, and now they need to show their best performance. To win the race, payment orchestration gives your business. Number one, endurance and robustness. You need a reliable payment system that will not fail, that will not let you down. Number two, efficiency. An orchestration platform helps you, the merchants, to achieve the best payment performance at lowest cost. For instance, routing transactions to the best performing provider can significantly elevate conversion rates without burdening the budget. Resilience, being able to adapt to any market disruptions, be it a technological innovation 
or changing customer expectations, or a payment partner failing to meet your expectations. What you need is to be able to maintain your continuous business operations in such situation without additional stress or without additionally spending resources. Number four, competitiveness. Your business needs to stay on top or come on the top of the competition. With payment orchestration, you can outrun your competition by using the latest innovation, a state-of-the-art payment experience, and a compelling checkout. Number five is support. With payment orchestration, you can rest assured that you will get the maximum level of support. After all, a payment orchestration platform has the support of a strong partner network that helps businesses realize their market rollouts to any region in the world. And finally, focus. While payment orchestration platform takes care of streamlining and unifying payment processes, you can focus and invest more of your valuable resources and time in the core of your uh, business, in your core business competence. Payment orchestration consolidates the payment acceptance flow, giving you the freedom to select your preferred multiple PSPs. In a single technical framework, payment orchestration triggers, directs, and validates all transactions made between merchants and customers and connected payment providers allowing your business to grow to new markets quickly and optimize the entire payment experience. Thank you very much for following this session on payment orchestration and thank you for your attention. I really hope you enjoyed.